Hello? Alright, in this example, I'm going to solve the equation involving thirds. So, alright, as you know that equation involving thirds, we use the technique of squaring both sides of the equation. So, means that uh, for this case, they are all square root, so I just square both sides. So, I squaring, and this side also I do squaring. Alright, uh, so this is the only technique that we can. Okay, so now since you have square both sides, for this you have square root of x plus 6 minus with square root of x plus 3. Two bracket, right? Uh, so you expand power of 2, so x plus 6 minus with square root of x plus 3. But square root and you square, you will get the 2x plus 5. The square root have already eliminated for the right hand side. So for this one, you have to slowly, uh, if you, you need to understand this concept, all right? You have to understand this concept. As you know that square root of a multiplied with square root of a, you will have a, and square root of a multiplied with square root of b, where a is not the same as b, the value are different. You just combine it under one square root with a multiply b. So for this, actually, you apply the law of index. You can try to... Uh, Understand? So for this case, these two are identical, right? A and A. So if I multiply, expand, square up A and square up A, I will get X plus 6. I apply the first rule there. So and the following will be the first one and the second term here. So it will be positive, negative. You have negative square root of X plus 6 square root of X plus 3, right? Uh, these two. So it's the same that if you want to combine them together, all right? But and this, you have negative, positive, you have negative square root of, uh, it's the same. It's a x plus 3 multiplied with square root of x plus 6, right? And the lastly, you have negative, negative, positive. Uh, this is a, this is all a. So square root a, square root a, you will have x plus 3, which is equals to 2x plus 5. Uh, you can pause the video and continue uh, to solve the question. So now you will see that uh, we forward with x plus x, right? x plus x, you have 2x. Uh, x plus x, you have 2x. 6 plus 3, you have 9, right? You have 9. And these two is actually identical. Square up a, b, square up b, a. So you can combine it as two times because they are, it's just like a x. This is a x. So it's mega negative x, negative x become negative two square root. Uh, I combine because square of a square of b. These two are different, different. So I multiply. I will combine them as x plus six, x plus three. All right. Uh, negative two of this. So equals to the right hand side. You have two x plus. 5 right uh, so now slowly we solve the problem so 2x and 2x now i'm going to bring this over to the right hand side so for this i have negative 2 square root of x plus 6 x plus 3 all right uh, so for this i bring over you have 2x plus 5 minus with 2x positive negative 9. Then you will have uh, 2x minus 2x. No more x. 5 minus 9, you have negative 4, right? Uh, for this one, you have negative 2 square root of x plus 6, x plus 3, right? Uh, so you take negative 4, divide by negative 2, right? You can take negative 4, divide by negative 2, which gives you 2. Uh, finally, you have square root of x plus 6, x plus 3 equals to 2. Uh, this one is much simpler compared to this, right? But there is still a square root there. So you're going to apply the squaring both sides for one more time, all right? One more time. So, okay, I copy back this. I squaring 
x plus 6, x plus 3 equals to 2. So for this side, I'm going to do squaring again, right? Uh, squaring because you want to eliminate the square root, the third. So as you square root, you will have x plus 6, x plus 3. Square of a square root, you will eliminate the square root, which is equal to 4. Okay, now you can see that there are no more square root. Uh, beautiful, right? Uh, you have simply, uh, you have sim uh, simplify. So now it turn to become a quadratic x square, 3x plus 6x. You have 9x, 3x plus, you have 9x plus bit, 6, 3, 18. The 4 bring over become minus 4. You see, everything turn to quadratic form, right? Uh, this is what you need to know. The technique, everything turn to quadratic form. Then you have x power of 2 plus with 9x plus with 14 equals to 0. So you can factorize this. Solving quadratic for you is very easy, right? Uh, so you see quadratic is so important. x, x, x power of 2, 14. You get 2, 7 because 7 plus 2 is 9. Beautiful. You plus, plus. Positive 2, positive 7, positive 9. All right. So now it's time to uh, find the value of x. Uh, you find the value of x. So the value of x, you have x plus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 7 equals to 0. Then you have x equals to negative 2 and x equals to minus 7. So you have two solutions. Uh, but you must be careful, you know. Hello, student, you must be careful. These two solutions, one of the solutions may be a false solution. Penyelesaian palsu, tidak benar. So which one? Or maybe two of them is true. So you need to do double check. Why you need to do double check, right? For square root, because you modify. Do you see there is a square here? But you try to square it. Why you square? Because you want to eliminate the square root, right? But this is called modify. If you modify equation, uh, then the solution may be a false solution, right? So now I'm going to check one by one. Okay, uh, let's look at how I check for x equals to negative two. Is negative two can be accepted or not? Boleh diterima tak? So kita guna ini. This one. Ah, uh, this one is your left hand side. Left hand side. This will be your right hand side. So I must do that the left hand side and for the right hand side right uh, left hand side is square root of x plus 6 minus with square root of x plus 3 right uh, which is if you substitute the x inside here you have negative 2 plus 6 minus with negative 2 plus 3 you substitute this number this solution into the left hand side and you also substitute this into the right hand side you compare whether the left hand side and right hand side the value are the same or not if they are the same then i can say that this satisfy this equation because equal they the value must be the same so now i check first uh, i cannot confirm so this one i get four this one i get one so i have square root of four you have uh, square root of four you have two right two minus one you have one so for the right hand side, uh, this is the, you must consider. So 2, you have 2, negative 2 plus 5. Uh, so you have negative 4 plus 5. Then you have square root of 1. Yes, beautiful. You see 1, this is also 1. Means that the left hand side is safe and the right hand side. So means that this is accepted. Diterima sebagai solution. But how about this? You also need to double check about this, right? Uh, you also need to check about x equals to negative 7. So for x equals to negative 7, the left hand side, uh, now you know the left hand side is this, right? So you can square root of negative 7 plus 6 minus with square root of negative 7 plus 3. Can you find out something very pelik? Very weird. You get negative 1 inside, right? Uh, this one you get negative 4, right? Which is no solution. Yes, 
in chapter one you learn about imaginary number but from here itself is not a solution okay this is the imaginary number so imaginary number uh, not true undefined okay never mind we check the right hand side uh, we check the right hand side the right hand side is square root of 2 times with negative 7 plus 5 you have negative 14 plus 5 which is also getting a negative number right you are getting and you get negative 9 this is this is impossible right so this is impossible you can't get a, a, a imaginary uh, number this is an equation we solve for real number so this is rejected why rejected yeah, you have already shown right you have already show you're working why is rejected because this is undefined right undefined tidak tetap rif kita tidak tak rif untuk nombor yang ada square root kecuali kita study complex number so therefore there is only one solution which is x equals to negative 2 right uh, this question is very good for you to study all right okay try to see this video for several times so that you understand okay see you for the next example